Hey guys, it's Rosina and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, we are going to be making my husband Kyle's all-time favorite summertime meal, which is orchette pasta with mini chicken meatballs. Now his aunt used to make this for him when he was living with his aunt and uncle when he was going through college and he always would rave about it to me. So he sent it over to me so I could start making it for him as well. Now Kyle's aunt actually got this recipe off the Food Network site, which I will also be putting in the description down below so you guys can follow the recipe as well. And the recipe was made by Food Network chef Giada de Laurentes. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. You know, you'd think as a fellow Italian, we pronounce each other's names right, but you know, who knows? Don't come for me <laughs> for a mispronunciation. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I actually do this recipe a little different. I do follow all the ingredients and everything. That doesn't change. It's just the way I do the steps and directions. I do mine a little different because that's how Kyle's aunt did it. And it kind of worked out a little better in a way. So you can follow Giada's directions on the site. Or, you know, maybe I'll put my directions also in the description and you guys can follow that if you'd like. Just follow what your heart tells you in a way. So first we're gonna start off with prepping the meatballs and then we'll go from there. So let's get started on those meatballs. For this recipe, you're gonna need all these ingredients. All right, I made a whoopsie doopsie. I know I said I wanted to do the meatballs first, but we're actually gonna be doing the noodles first. Don't mind me and my ADHD brain, okay? <laughs> You're gonna want the orchette pasta, and if you can't find that, the medium shells, or you know, small shells if they call it that, um, those will work just as good. So if you can't find the orchette, do the medium shells. Now. You're gonna want a whole pound. So basically the whole box. So we're gonna pour that in, let this boil and cook for however long I think it'll be. Noodles don't take long and you want it to be al dente. So not like too squishy. So let's get our noodles boiling. Also, since I forgot to add that, put a little pinch of salt in your water. You always want to have salt in your water when you're making pasta. Hang on, I gotta feed my sous chef here so he doesn't bother me while I'm trying to cook. Lay down. There you go. Gentle. All right, goodbye. All right, let's get started on these meatballs. Now, you're gonna need about a pound of ground chicken. There, we'll just. Grab that and just kind of push it in there. And I'm wearing gloves and you know why. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add in our parsley, which you saw me chop up and everything. It's about, a, you want a fourth cup, but this is probably a little more than a fourth. Next, we're gonna add in a fourth cup of breadcrumbs. Now she calls for plain. I just have the Italian style, just like with my other meatballs, the Progresso kind. So I'm just gonna measure with my heart on this one because sometimes there's not enough breadcrumbs, especially with how, I, I know I hate the word, but moist ugh, that the meatballs get. So I add a little more breadcrumbs than she does. So measure with your heart on this one, <laughs> if you wanna do it my way. Next is a tablespoon of milk a tablespoon of ketchup. That's about a tablespoon. And then we're gonna add in some salt, which she calls for about three fourths of a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna kinda give it a nice couple of twists. Then we're gonna do three fourths teaspoon of pepper. Then we're gonna add in our Parmesan, grated Parmesan, about three fourths cups worth, but I'm just gonna measure with my heart, like I said. <laughs> it's about a 
three fourths, I'm sure. And lastly, we're gonna put in our eggs. So we're gonna do two eggs. Now she calls for it lightly beaten, but I just, I just put them in. They'll get beaten when I mix it together. That sounds very wrong, I'm so sorry. All right, now that all our ingredients are in, let's start mixing. Now, before I roll these up, I wanna mention, this is where the directions get different, the way I do it. If you wanna follow it to a T, how Gaida does it, Giada, Gaida, I, like I said, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but if you wanna follow her directions, you go right ahead, but how I'm gonna do this is, I'm gonna roll these into balls onto a baking tray and you're gonna put these in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes. So that's how we're gonna do it with mine and you'll see. There, all that is mixed up, we'll get to rolling. All right, while those noodles are going, we're gonna put in our meatballs that we already have rolled up, as you can see right here. So like I said, 400 degrees, 20 minutes. All right, now on to our sauce. It's just two simple things. Like I said, this is different from her recipe. She uses a pan to do the meatballs on as well, but we're just gonna make the sauce. So all it is, is one and a half cups of chicken broth. And for my chicken broth, I don't use like, you know, the box things. I use um, this, which is better than bouillon. My mom always would use it for like chicken broth and stuff. So this is what I would use as well. It just kind of tastes better, I guess. And then we're gonna add in some, well, grape tomatoes for mine. She uses cherry tomatoes, I'm using grape. And you wanna have these. So just cut them in half on a cutting board. And then we're gonna let that cook for a little bit on medium heat for just a tiny bit. Once it starts actually like boiling, that's when you take it off. And make sure your like tomatoes are nice and soft. All right, while that sauce is going, we're gonna take our noodles that we drained out of the pot after it was done. You're gonna add in a half cup of grated Parmesan. So the same Parmesan we used as the meatballs. Even though technically for the meatballs, it was supposed to be Romano, but I used Parmesan. <laughs> They're kind of the same thing, right? So we're gonna add it to these noodles and mix it up so they're all nice and coated. And then after the sauce is done, we're gonna assemble this onto a dish to get ready for dinner. Now I know I said a half cup, but I'm measuring with my heart. <laughs> now also a tip that she has on her recipe. If you want it, your noodles not to stick so much, add some pasta water, like leftover pasta water. So when you're draining the pasta, keep maybe a little cup of, of it if you don't want it to stick too much. Mine's okay. Probably could have used some if I didn't want it to stick too much, but I don't care. <laughs> you can never have enough cheese. How I'm not lactose intolerant, I don't know. All right, that's all mixed up. Let's get to assembling. All right, switch to a different bowl so you guys can see all this niceness a little easier when we present it. So first we're gonna add our little baby mozzarella. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but I know it starts with a B, I'll put it somewhere in here. But I realized that in her recipe, she called for it to be halved. So I cut these in half, and when I made this before, I didn't do that, but now I get more cheese. Even more cheese. So we're gonna add all that in. All right, make it look kinda evenly spread out <laughs> as much as I can. Next, we're gonna add in our meatballs. Now, from far away, it looks tiny, but I will tell you, I kinda cheated a little bit, and these aren't exactly really mini. <laughs> I made them smaller than I usually do. I make them about the same size as what I make for my spaghetti recipe which I will link somewhere on this video so you guys can see how I make those meatballs. And then lastly, our sauce, which is nice and done, basically. <laughs> so pour that on there, make sure I don't splash really anywhere. I can touch that, it's hot. <laughs> but there you go, our finished product. Maybe we'll get a taste test, maybe we won't, we'll see. And 
that is it for today's recipe and today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know how your guys' turns out if you decide to make this. And I would love to hear any other video suggestions you guys have that you would like to see from me. I make new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday and Saturday, so two, two <laughs> videos a week. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.